Yes, so it's it's, it's Halloween in America. Now, um, this is obviously a really big thing for them out there. It it, it doesn't tend to feature over there. But um, but no, it's, it's, it's a massive holiday for Americans. Now, if you're not familiar with what an American is, um, they're very straightforward people. What you see is basically what you get. And so 364 days a year, you know, what you see is what you get. And then one day a year, they dress up as something that they're not. But just in case you're not familiar with Americans, here's an example. So these are all um, Americans. Red-blooded Americans. Yep. Um, <laughs> you know, ba- ba- it's, it's, it's as basic as it comes. What you see is what you get. And now if, if you Isn't are the listening... the one on the right Canadian? Um, well, I don't know the name of the one on the left. I just know that she goes by Mom. Or is it ma'am or something like that? North American. Who cares? Yes. The one in the middle, this 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 lovely lady is is Blair White. And then we got, is that Elliot Page? But anyway, so Americans are a very straight down line. What you see is what you get, except for one day a year when they dress up when something that they're not. Um, and um, they celebrate something called Halloween, which is basically their way of begging for sugar from their neighbors. It's like it's like a thing that they do. They they send their kids around to beg. Are they, are they as poor as the North Koreans tell me they are? Well, I, I don't know if it's that. So, I mean, I, I spent some time in India once, and they, they had a young baby. And the, what they had to do, because obviously Indians have a very spicy, rich diet, with, with young babies, they get a little bit of spice and rub it on their gums when they're very little to get them acclimatized to it. So I think right, Halloween... Th- I, know, I know something about newborn babies is often they can create quite a mess, quite an uncontrollable mess. Yes. When Lotus Eaters first got demonetized from YouTube, we knew we'd have to start doing some ad reads. And I said to Carl, I said, I don't mind doing it, but it would have to be a product that I sort of genuinely like or care about. Let me do Audible, one of those DNA testing websites. Something that I thought had genuine value. Um, and lo and behold, we've been in touch with my heritage, And they are the leaders in the field for DNA testing. That's the thing I find most interesting, is to look back through your DNA and see what's in there or isn't in there. They also offer services to build your family tree. They've got over 19 billion, that's with a B, if you can believe that, 19 billion records. This is the tree that my heritage discovered for me after I filled in the two generations above me. My heritage's instant discoveries algorithm will scour its archive of over 19 billion historical documents, including birth, marriage and death certificates, censuses, voter lists and newspapers to track down members of your family going back generations. To help you look back through the past and build up your family tree, build a view of your heritage and your lineage. They also offer services to enhance, repair and colorize old photos, to be able to put real images to your past, to your personal heritage, an amazing service. So if you were interested in building your family tree and looking back through your past and your DNA, do consider using my heritage. And I don't feel like giving them incredibly spicy food, even a well, small amount, yeah, will you, help with that. You, you kind of have to in order to get them acclimatized this, to the is diet. Is why they're so averse to toilets? Because from a very, very young age... I, I wasn't going to make that point, but... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're fed a spice diet and don't, never have time, really, to even get to one. <laughs> that, could, that could be it. My, my, my take was more that the, this is the... Americans version they need to get them acclimatized to sugar as early as possible so so here is a chart and seed oils uh, yes and, and fluoride well they, they don't have a holiday for that I think every day maybe that's one of the other ones I don't I don't know every got, day got, like, is two seed Christmas oil day in America they've got Christmas and Thanksgiving but anyway so this is a chart of growth in, in Halloween in America or, or, that, or no actually that, that could be growth in BMI I think um, it's more BMI or, uh, no, actually, no. Sorry, sorry. I, I, this this is um, growth in diabetes. Oh, okay. So there we go. So um, for the young age group, there two this to is, five. This, this segment's going to be a hit with our American audience. Well, it's it's a celebration of their culture, so I don't see why not. And and it, it's all right, because I'm about to give them, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to give them some advice as how to avoid offensive costumes, because apparently that's an also a big thing out there. And I thought I'm just the man for that. So anyway, so this is growth in diabetes amongst different age groups. So, you know, because sugar is, is such an important part of their culture, you've got to get them acclimatized, which is that blue line at the bottom, which, as you can see, has done, you know, very well over it's, the last it's, 50 it's been years. doing somersaults recently. What's been going on with that? It looks like a roller coaster. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, the, the older age groups have maintained a nice, healthy rise in diabetes, but the two to fives have, you know, it's, I mean, it's up now. That's Around the, that's 2011, the 2012, when Obama was about to be given his second term. Yes. 
all of a sudden, everyone just decided to start feeding their kids much better diets for some reason. Or slightly less sugar. I mean, we, we still got like 15% of two to five year olds as diabetic. So, I mean, it's not. I'm not saying that it's, it's not a massive win, to be honest, I'm Harry. not saying that it's great, but something happened around Obama's second yeah. term that got people in a really good mood for eating healthy uh, or less. Or, or maybe, they're, maybe they're just running around a lot. I don't know. Maybe they acquired some Nikes or something. Um, do you guys go into Halloween? Do you do, you do that? No. No. Did you, did you do it as a kid? Um, we a couple of times went trick or treating because we were kids. Yeah. You know, and my parents thought it'd be fun. Yeah. And it kind of was. Right. And that was about it. Pretty much the same here. One time as a child, I went around with some friends on an estate asking yeah. for sweets. Uh, and okay. the houses, and uh, we got a few, but most of the people opened the door and said, we, we don't have anything for you, and shoot us away. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's how it should be in this country. Be gone, beggar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that, actually. It's like I'm back there well, right now. That's literally what my dad said to me. I, I remember asking my dad once when I was little, can we, can we go uh, trick-or-treating? And he just looked at me and he said, are you a beggar, son? And I said, no, dad. He said, well, we're not going begging then. And that was it. That was the end That's of the conversation. We asked pretty what's... fair. And, and, and we're talking about this in the office, right? Josh. Sorry, how? But you're five in this example. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, father, I'm not a beggar. You're right. <laughs> and doff my cap. But no, uh, apparently Josh, uh, he, went, he went trick-or-treating by himself when he was little. And an old lady opened... Typical libertarian. O- ...opened her door to shout at him, you're going to go to hell if you carry on with this devil tree stuff. <laughs> this explains so like much. <laughs> this explains so much of Josh's character. Well, he he he, he did grow I've up in connected um, a few dots now in in Devon or, or Cornwall. You know, one of those. It's 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 like the Arkansas of this country. You know, if, if that means anything to you, if there's any Americans watching. But, well, it's yeah. just the rural land. Yes, yes, but a bit. With, I mean, they, they probably had electricity when Josh was growing up. You know, it's not. It's not. We'll that. have to ask him. Yes. Anyway, so um. Uh, so, so when Halloween comes around now, I, I am basically this guy, if anyone gets the reference uh, to that. So uh, my understanding is that with Halloween, if you have any lights on, that means that you're game for kids to come and knock on your door and harass you and beg for sugar. You know, now that you put it like that, it is a bit weird. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so if I want to see in my own home, no, no, that's an no o- tonight is not the night. So, so basically, every 31st of October, I go around turning off all the lights, even the oven light. I just make sure there's no lights on in <laughs> anywhere in the house. You huddle all the kids and, into and the then, basement. And then you skulk about your house in the dark, lit by a single well, candle. Well, my, my office is on the back of the house, so I'm safe there. Um, so I can sit there and watch my pod, podcast. What happens whatever. to your family? Are they... Well, they go off trick or treating. I hate it, but they do it. So they go, they go off begging, but then I'm the only one left in the so house. So you let your dad down. The well, standards established yes. by the previous generations yes. have been completely abandoned by you. Yes, it's not, I'm not proud of it. I'll give you that. But but anyway, so so the point of this segment, what I wanted to get to, there's is, a point to this segment. Yes, no, there is, and because because I'm, I'm I'm helping the Americans because every year they have this big national debate about what is and isn't offensive when it comes to costumes, and I thought, well, I know about how to be non-offensive, so I will I will I will help them, and you see. So th- this is the sort of classic thing. So if you send your kid out dressed as a little Indian, that is... Learn that... the face so yeah. she doesn't get cancelled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we protected the identity of this child. Uh, no, 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 this really is a big thing for Americans, cancelling and getting really quite nasty if you... Uh, Cultural appropriation is, is, is what they call it. So you are only allowed to dress as an Indian if you actually are an Indian. So this little girl, as you can see, she's descended from sort of Nordic whites. So no, she's not, she's not allowed to do that. Um, however, there you go. These people, for example, the, these people can dress as Indians because they are not culturally appropriating. That's, that's basically... They are Indians. There are a bunch of Indians. Yes, and and therefore it's okay. That's, that's one in the middle, especially so. Yes, but I, I've I've basically looked into the rules, and and this is this this is how it works. Although who gets to dress as a ghost? For who? Well, I just I never really understood the the bullshit rules that this is, which is uh like well, how does that apply to anything else ever, or is it literally just brown people cultures that you can't dress up at if you're yes. not them? That's that's all. That's I really. Th- I think so. I mean, yeah. It, I see. That's exactly it. Also, can I just mention, well, I, a few months ago, 
Ramaswamy was all over my Twitter feed. Every yeah. single day, there'd be Ramaswamy does this. He's had an interview with Tucker Carlson. He's done this. Yeah. He's done that. Now it's completely dead. And I noticed it coincided exactly with when that video of him doing an embarrassing and cringeworthy rap of Eminem's Lose Yourself came out. Right. And I'm thinking that that really did kill well, his political chance. He must have overtaken DeSantis as number two by now. So maybe, just, maybe he's I've, done his I've, job or something. I, like I've not heard much about yeah. him recently. So in the comments below, let me know what Vivek's up to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Did I, I heard did a bit of spaces a, with him yesterday. Did letting a video no, of him rapping we, kill we, his We're career. getting off topic. Anyway, so the point is you can dress up as an Indian if you're an Indian, but for some reason, you're not allowed to dress up as Anne Frank even if you are Jewish. <laughs> So these rules do seem slightly inconsistent to me. Sorry, where did you find this? Yeah, why did you find this image? Anne Frank outfit. Is this on Amazon? Uh, Child I, well, dressed I as Anne Frank it. is a very strange thing to find on your search history, Dan. Yes. Well, should I look it up? There's lots of reasons why that, Mike. But anyway, so why can why can Jewish people not dress as Anne Frank if you're an Indian, and then you can dress up as a little <laughs> Indian? I, 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 well, you're not googling Anne Frank costumes. I think it's are on you? Amazon. Nine pounds. Oh, there we go. Right, anyway. <laughs> so, so that then brought me to following this chain of logic. So th this was a famous one. So this is Prince Harry dressed as a, um, as a German officer from the mid-19th century. Um, that was apparently... Well, his family are German, aren't they? So... Well, th this, th yeah, that was exactly That's my fine. point. That was exactly my point. Because he's, he's, his great, or great, great grandfather was, was King George I of Britain, right? who was born in Hanover, and he didn't speak any English. He only spoke German. So apparently the House of Windsor used to be known as the House of Saxe, Colberg, and Gotha, but it was renamed Windsor in World War I because they thought having a German name while being at war with the Germans was, was bad PR. Yeah, the faux pas. Like yes. But there's also the fact that his great-uncle, King Edward, was a Nazi. Well, yes, that as well. So, yes. So therefore, under the rules which I have determined, which so the Americans is follow, acceptable. he should be able to dress as a Nazi. I don't see he why not. He should be able to do it 24 so, yeah, I think he should do it 24-7, yes. just because, because it would be funny. Because he, he, he's obeying the rules of, of not culturally uh, appropriating, which is apparently the thing. Um, and the other thing that, uh, all, that you know, one of these stories comes up every year. So this is um, some article in Newsweek. Student wears KKK Halloween costume um, and ends up getting reprimanded. And there's basically always a story like this. This every was it not just a a, a ghost costume? Just no, I think ghost. I think that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I know that that's not a ghost outfit. But if you just put a no, white no, no, sheet no. over yourself and that's, say, I'm a that's the ghost logo. <laughs> <laughs> the trade union of ghosts. Yes. But my point with this is right. If you're a Democrat, you should be able under these rules. You should be able to dress up as a member of the KKK. That point, mm. because it is part of your culture, it's part of your history. So, you know, at, at very minimum, that you know, there, there you go. There, there's a there's a demo, There's a couple of Democrats, and yep. and that one on the right is is Robert Byrd, who is a, a U.S. senator, and um, earlier in his life, he was also a KKK Grand Wizard. Was he actually? Yes. Oh. So Barack Obama should be able to wear a clown outfit all he wants. Well, um, the, the 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 KKK. I mean, you can is, get is, permission. Yeah, like probably. Your, Get the old fellas. A lot of people forget that the, the first murder that the KKK ever committed was a Republican um, congressman, I believe. So it was they in, in popular history they just went round um, murdering blacks. Actually, it was blacks and Republicans that the KKK was after. So I think that if you are a Democrat or if your parents voted for Obama, you should be able to wear a KKK costume for Halloween because it's part of your culture and part of your history. <laughs> the clan for Obama. Well, he's, he's a, a new caucus, a daring one, I may say. <laughs> t t tell me if my logic is wrong on this. No, I, I think you're fine. I think. I, I think that I am. I am following the the logic of this American holiday, holiday perfectly because you know you you get all of these. Um, so here, I mean, there's a whole bunch of these. I mean, I, I picked this. Are we one going to Reddit much. for intellectual discussion now. Well, but the point is, there's a whole load of Reddit um, questions, which is like, um, so this guy's saying, I'm thinking of dressing up as a character from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, is that offensive? Is that allowed? And this is the sort of the thing that America culture. struggle with. Was it? To pirates. He's going to offend the pirates of the no, century. No, no, no. no. He's, he'll be dressing up as, uh, or she will be dressing up as uh, Calypso or something, a voodoo priest. You, you, you don't, no, it's, the, the problem is, in America, at this point, everything is offensive. 
So when it comes to Halloween, these people are genuinely fraught with what the hell do I wear? And so that's why they well, have... These are the same, this is on Reddit, so this is probably yeah. the same type of person that would also go after somebody else for dressing in an outfit that they deem to be offensive. Yeah, so but I mean... They brought the, it on themselves. Yeah, you get what you this, this is American youth. Anyway, so I, I read this thread down. Um, I, I so would, they want I to would... be a voodoo priestess, is what they're saying here. So you are right, Harry. They want to be Calypso. Could be an issue with that. Yes. Well, anyway, so the consensus formed on this particular thread was that pirate is an occupation and not a, and not a race. What, what, what if I say I'm a, I'm a Corsair, I'm a Barbary Corsair, then, it, then is it offensive? I Possibly. Think. I don't know, because, I mean, again, Voodoo Priestess is also just a job title, a weird job yes. title. But yeah, I, suppose, yeah, I, suppose, I suppose so. There's no racial requirement to be a Voodoo Priestess, is there? I mean, it is still a job. And it's pretty culturally tethered, I would say. Yes. Well, next time I have to pay taxes to the government. Under self-employed, I'm just going to put voodoo priestess. <laughs> That's going to be my next answer on the census. Occupation. Yeah. But, but anyway, so the, the, where they eventually got to on this one, they, they debated it back and forth, and they came to the conclusion that, that dressing up as a pirate for Halloween was perfectly fine. So you should be fine dressing up as a pirate. So there you go. If you want to dress up as a Somali tonight, um, you should be... I've you got should... everything for that. I mean, I was planning on it already, but I'm glad yes. to know that I've got Reddit's pers- uh, permission. Yes. You, you won't be offensive. Now, when it comes to not being offensive uh, and not, um, you know, not, not causing anyone um, concern, let, let's have a look at uh, somebody who got this right. So th- there's uh, Matt Perry from, from Friends dressing up as a, as a rabbit. So that, that, I think, is an example of something which is, you know, that's, that's not going to offend anyone. Would you agree with me? What about Easter pagans? Well, I didn't think of that. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're better off just dressing up as a zombie, which is, of course, a recently deceased person. Well, like I, I, again, you need to leave the Joe Biden voters out of this. <laughs> I'm, just going to say, I'm just going to say as well, just because it's, yes. it's, it's topical news, you know, we, yeah. uh, I, I know that Ma- Matthew Perry recently died, so rest in peace, no disrespect to him. No, none at all, none at all. But you, you could take inspiration from this photo and dress up as, as a bunny or, or, or possibly go the other way, which is a, you know, a zombie, a recently deceased person, or combine or, the two. Or a potato, as Ross appears to be dressed a as A recently there. deceased rabbit would also you know, not, not be offensive to anybody. I don't know. I've not watched Friends. Yes. You haven't watched Friends? What? I've been subjected to it from time to time and never got it. What? You're the weird one now. Callum, <laughs> you didn't know who Eric Clapton was until I had to explain it to you three times, and you probably still don't. You oh. don't know any music whatsoever. But I did watch I, Friends. I, I have know. thrown many cultural references your way over the years, and you've not understood any of them. And just because I've not watched, honestly, the most overrated sitcom ever, I'm the weirder. Yes. Did you not have I didn't really I'm watch it see, either. But... I'm glad to see where the... <laughs> Oh no, we're icking Callum out. Oh dear. Uncultured spines. And another one that apparently trips a lot of them up is, is dressing as a Mexican because they, they tend to, apparently, within the Americans dress as a Mexican, they just tend to wear a, a towel and a big hat and carry around a bottle of alcohol and just act drunk and lazy. And apparently that is offensive. It's but, pretty accurate to me. Well, the thing is, I've been to Mexico and. and that's there were a lot of drunk people, and they were really lazy as well. I mean, I've I've been to yeah. Spain this year, and there's a there's a connection between Spain and yeah, Mexico, I'd... and you also get something similar there. Yes. Now I, I've got to be clear: I'm not actually blaming the Mexicans because it's really bloody hot there, so you don't feel like moving fast. It's similar in Spain as well, especially the more, yeah. more south you go. It's really warm in those areas, yeah. so you want to be able to take frequent breaks. Well, uh, yes, exactly, and they just have a little sleep during the middle of the day. So, so I, I don't we think have so that, much to that, learn. that one is, is is a bit harsh. Um, keep keeping with the, the remit of something that everybody everybody is going to agree is popular. I thought it was a, a bad decision for for. Amazon to remove this mask. Um, <laughs> that so so this is a um, a George Floyd mask um, which has been available on Amazon for for about a couple of years now. Um, coming up to Halloween, they removed it. I don't know why. Well, they put it back on after Halloween. Yeah, but that well, this is this is when you need it most. Can we read the ratings? Yeah, let's read. <laughs> let's look at the Amazon reviews. It's beautiful. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. 
good. Black life matter. Uh, black life. Only the one, though. His was the only one that ever mattered. I can't breathe. What is this? I can't... <laughs> wait, wait a second. Oh, is that not working? I want to see the image. Someone's posted an image. Just yeah. click on the image and see if it comes up a bit oh, bigger. Yeah. Open image and new tab. There we are. Damn. Oh. <laughs> it's even Jack, can you, can you zoom in real quick for us? Can you, uh, what, with, a, with a telescope or something? That doesn't... It's a local man who has got a uh, oh. George Floyd shirt, a George Floyd doll, and a George Floyd mask. <laughs> He he's really like, committing. Steal his look. Only one hundred dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this man cares about black lives. Best mask ever. And that man, yes. Callum, that man in that picture, Derek Chauvin. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. He's you, repented. Fully. You, you, could, you could have a couple of guys go out, one in this mask and one in a is there a Chauvin mask? I don't know. I, I what and they shake hands. <laughs> world peace. They skip broken. along together. Share a Pepsi or something. I don't. Know. I'm convinced Martin that Martin Luther King's dream has finally been. Oh, hang on. What, what is I'm this convinced that this mask is no good against COVID, but great if you want to put fentanyl strip in your mouth. <laughs> it only comes with a five star one. Together, I like that the person themselves is Floyd <laughs> for Life. They created the Floyd for Life account just for this review. Oh no, that, I think that's the name of the review. Oh, it's Aaron. Oh, it's yeah, Aaron. sorry, yeah, sorry. Anyway, there we are. Yeah. So, um, good reviews. So yeah, so it's, it's well reviewed, but for some reason they, they took it off. It was a bestseller. Right. Yeah, it was a bestseller. They took it off right before Halloween, which I I, I don't think. Oh my god, it's got a Sam <laughs> Hyde one. <laughs> <laughs> I am coming. <laughs> that uh, is quite scary. Okay, I mean I'm sorry to derail things, but yeah, it's quite funny. So anyway, yeah, I don't right. think there was much to derail, to be honest. Wait, well, I I I'll, I'll get us I'll get us back. Oh. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get us back on track by just saying I would, it, would it be wrong for me to dress as a monkey for Halloween? No, it, it would be right for you to dress as, <laughs> as Sam, as the <laughs> Sam Hyde. Isn't that, isn't that one of our gold tier subscribers, the one who writes the books? What? what? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. No. C.S. Cooper, yes. we've, we've rumbled you. <laughs> my uncle got this for my birthday. Sure he did. <laughs> right. That's so anyway. a cool uncle, actually. Your uncle knows enough to know to get you a Sam Hyde shirt. Sorry, Dan. I, I I think I have given our American audience sound advice as to how to avoid. Wait, wait, wait! That review, life changing. My <laughs> wife came back, and now I'm a Bitcoin billionaire. What is this? Got? Success comes to those who buy the Sam Hyde shirt. Oh, I see. Not sponsored, but might as well be. Right? Can I end my segment now before <laughs> yeah, sure, before we just buy everything? <laughs> anyway, so I think I think we've we've given Americans solid advice as to how to avoid being offensive tonight. Um, although they're what my final effort, well, I was a little bit unsure about. I'll, I'll see where you guys, if you feel that this falls on the right or the wrong side of, of tasteful Halloween costumes. All right. Um, what do you reckon? I'm I'm on no. Yeah, no. People listening, uh, we're looking at a local lady who has a, a a baby down her leg and a lot of red paint. Yeah, she 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 her Halloween costume is her abortion. Um. Uh, possibly, possibly that one is going too far. But e everything else we talked about, as long as you are culturally, you know, that, have fun tonight. If you appreciated that episode from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium contents on the site, such as the Epoch series, this episode on the Duke of Wellington Part 2. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Twitter at lotuseaters underscore com on Twitter. Thank you and goodbye.